Wuxian Chinese painting is based on two main principles. The first one allows the artist to express his psychological characteristics through motion. It is widely thought that a person's limitations and some psychological mindsets or restraints are hidden in their motion. Why motion? Because motion is energy, and through working with energy and directly with movement, we can study specific human qualities. Gaining an understanding of these characteristics will help people in their life. The second principle is the Wuxin system itself. The five characteristics of energy are wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. And in painting, each of these is expressed by a certain movement of the brush. These are the only five types of brush strokes that are used by Wuxin artists when they paint. During training, the movement of the painter's body should be relaxed, and also the brush should be held in a specific manner. The arm should be relaxed from the shoulders to the very tips of the fingers. The painter should imagine taking and holding a ball and then put the brush into this ball. Just as there are five types of energy, so there are five different brush strokes. Wood is a strong and straight energy. This movement is made from the shoulder with only a small movement of the body. We take the brush and press it to the paper and draw a line with a powerful straight motion. Here we also accent. Now we have a straight, and powerful brush stroke, which is the beginning of the male energy, yang. Working with this movement, the artist gradually transfers it to his life. The same thing happens with the energy of fire. Fire is a speed, transcendence. The movement of the brush is like the flight of a butterfly. That is the essence of fire. Taking the brush, we make the movements like this. When the brush touches the paper, it makes the brush stroke like this. Structure is the characteristic of the energy earth. For this reason, the brush strokes should be tight. These are dots, made by small points of pressure. And we can place a few dots or many dots, which will form something like a ground structure. The energy of metal is tender, flexible, feminine, which is why the movements are smooth, long. By now you will start to understand that the brush strokes reveal the individuality and style of the painter himself. If he doesn't have softness or tenderness, he is unable to make this type of brush stroke. The last element is water. This is a sensation of old age. Using water, one can create the trunk of an old tree by only turning the brush. In Ushin painting, the aim of the artist is to express the essence of the object, not the shape. To reach the same, it is necessary to develop your own perception of the universe and learn to see not with the mind, but with the eyes. To paint a subject correctly and to express all its vitality, it is necessary to decide which brush strokes should be used. What does this mean? It means you should look for the essence of the subject. You should see what movement dominates in the subject, for example, male directness, insistence, or feminine flexibility. Is it explosive transcendence or sinking into deep water? By determining the essence of the subject, the painter transfers this to the brushstroke, programs this to his movement, and endues the subject he is painting with those specific characteristics. Wuxin Chinese painting is also a unique type of psychotherapy. By training with these brush strokes, a person develops relative energy in himself. And by transferring this knowledge to his life, he makes it balanced and harmonious. Welcome to our painting school.